Lee Rose Mountain One Stock You Like in the Loomis Sales Global Equity and Income Fund is AutoZone. Shares are up 25% year to date. The car market is booming. The auto parts market is booming. But how much longer can it continue? Greg, we think it can still continue. What we really like about the AutoZone business model is there's multiple drivers to the growth of the company over time. Um, the car market that they're serving in North America still has a lot of uh, aftermarket and parts that need uh, servicing and replacement. The company still has the ability to grow their square footage. We believe in the low to mid single digit range for many years to come. You couple that with uh, same store sales that are also going to grow over time, some volatility from time to time between the low to mid single digit rate, a little bit of operating leverage over, over time between your revenues and your expenses. And uh, that's a really good recipe for further outperformance. AutoZone also, also historically has done a very good job using their free cash flow to repurchase large amounts of stock very consistently. We think all of that will uh, continue to drive AutoZone, AutoZone higher over time. All right, well, you're also bullish on Asa Abloy. This is a Swedish door and lock maker. It's having a great year. It's up over 10%. I don't know much about it. Is this a housing play? Is this a commercial real estate play? Are people just buying more locks? What's going on with the stock? Asa Abloy is really uh, the dominant global business for door opening mechanisms and, as you said, uh, locking mechanisms. And what we really like about Asa Abloy is they are serving what we call the installed base of all types of facilities. Uh, you mentioned commercial uh, buildings, apartment buildings, but also airports and universities. And Greg, what these all have in common is the importance of security and, um, and uh, traffic flow for efficiency in the buildings that they're servicing. Uh, about two-thirds of their revenue come from this installed base of locks all around the world. It's a very innovative company, and the market structure for Asa Abloy is fragmented. And so this allows them to use their innovation to grow organically, but also to use their excess free cash flow to make value-enhancing acquisitions in a fragmented market. Well, you also like legal and general. This is a British insurance company. It's up around 1% year to date. Please tell me about it. So Legal in General is a very highly regarded brand in uh, the United Kingdom. They're serving the citizens of the United Kingdom with savings protection and asset management uh, services. Um, what we really like about Legal in General is they have a very large uh, back book, an annuity book, that uh, is very um, providing a stable source of earning power and cash flow. Insurance generally is a very capital intensive business. Their insurance and savings businesses tend to be more free cash flow generative than most insurance globally. Then when you couple this with a uh, growing uh, asset management business, which requires no capital, you get a lot of free cash flow over time. The shares yield approximately 5% and we think there's some more scope for dividend growth over the next several years. And then finally, we heard recently that the Japanese economy shrank in the third quarter, perhaps raising some questions about uh, the impact of Abenomics. You like Nomura Research. This is an IT consultant over there. So you talk about why you like it, considering what's going on in the Japanese economy. Greg, that's a great point. Uh, what we look to do in the Luma Sales Global Equity and Income Fund is we're aware of what's going on regionally in economies around the world. But on the equity side, we're very much focused on security-specific risk and bottom-up stock picking. In the case of Nomura Research, despite some challenges in uh, the economy in Japan, here's a business that's very dominant in the financial services sector and the industrial sector. They're very tied in both with the front user face of uh, their customers in the financial services sector, but also the back office. And in Nomura's case, they're doing a very good job managing expenses. They've had a outsourcing program where they're optimizing their expenses for salaries, um, having more work done in places like China. They have a very good balance sheet. They've grown the dividend. And we think there's the opportunity for share repurchase over time as they look to drive their return on equity higher. So a really good example of being aware of what's going on in a country, 
but really we're bottom-up stock pickers and focusing on the individual business. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Lee. Thanks, Greg. Thank you for watching The Street.